I definitely feel that there are two worlds of teenagers. I myself have a younger sister who's 15, and I know that her world is completely different from mine. The younger ones seem to be living in a world of tension and, and great anxiety, partly due to the world situation that is existing today. They're in a rush for everything. They start drinking at parties when they're in eighth grade. They um, consider sex nothing at all. There is a, there is a teenage world. You know, if the adults don't like it, that's only because they don't want to be a part of it. That's, that's their tough luck. It's different. There's always a change going on. You never know what's going to happen next. You never know what new clothes you're going to have. You never know what the new records are going to be. My stack of records keeps getting larger and larger. And all of a sudden, we have a feeling of being a generation and having some sort of bond with every other teenager on the street. Maybe I feel it's different just because I'm in it. I've never experienced another generation. But I do feel we'll have something to say. We'll make a gigantic splash in the world to come. I get scared when I think too far ahead in the future. I don't, I don't think of myself when I'm 80. I just can't, because when you realize you're going to die, it's the most frightening thing in the world. I know what I'm going to do after I get out of high school. That's all it means to me right now. Well, I don't know, really. <laughs> It's just that I want to get as much as I can out of life. I mean, I goof around a lot and get in trouble, but I mean, why not if, you know, you don't know what's going to happen the next day or anything? My parents have, want me in at 12 o'clock, and they don't like me to hang out at some places, like the pub and some places, and I just can't take it. They act like I'm seven years old. You know how parents are. They always bug you where you're going, when you're getting home, who you went with, what time you're going to be back. Don't stay on the phone too long. So what do you do? You try to get out of it. You try to get your own phone. You're going to pay your own bills. All right, fine. Then you get your own car, and you're free a little bit, but he's still holding on the rope. Then you wait till you're 18, and that comes the day. Boy, when you get 18, you really get it. They try to decide for us what we should do and what we shouldn't, and uh, they're telling us what to do from their experiences, and uh, the only real way that we're going to learn uh, not to or to do something is to learn from our own experiences, and they're trying to stop us from doing this.